In this chapter, we'll teach you all about Photo Impact's interface, beginning with opening an image, then a walkthrough of the workspace and all of its features, as well as a description of some of the various panels and toolbars. To open an image document, click on the File menu, then Open, or click on the Open icon in the standard toolbar. Even easier, just click Control-O, then click on the image file you want. Maybe the best feature for searching and opening documents is the Browse Manager. The Browse Manager button is on the right side of the screen in the Panel Manager. The Browse Manager displays your files as thumbnails, letting you open an image file by double-clicking a thumbnail or dragging the thumbnail into the workspace. One great feature is the Recent Files folder, which saves you from repeatedly searching for a document by letting you conveniently browse and open all of your latest work. Now, we'll introduce you to the Photo Impact Workspace. At the top of the interface, you'll find a traditional Windows-style menu bar, where you can access all of Photo Impact's features. Just below that, you'll find the standard toolbar with buttons that give you access to the most common features, including tools for acquiring images from scanners and digital cameras, as well as other features. Just below the standard toolbar is the attribute toolbar, and next to it on the left side is the tool panel. These two toolbars work together. The tool panel contains all of the tools that you'll need for manipulating and adjusting your images, and the attribute toolbar lets you adjust how those tools work. Click on a few of the tools and you'll notice that the face of the attribute panel actually changes to allow you to adjust each of these tools. In the next few chapters, you'll learn a lot more about how these tools work. Some of the features in the tool panel have a sub-menu with additional tools. To access these tools, click on the small triangle icon on the lower right of the button. On the right side of the Photo Impact interface is the Panel Manager. After 10 years of innovation and adding new features, Photo Impact has grown to provide a huge assortment of tools. The Panel Manager has been cleverly designed specifically to make them easy and convenient to access. Each one of the buttons represents a panel of tools or a full range of easy-to-use features. For instance, click on the top button to open the Layer Manager. This panel displays all of the objects that are present in your active document as individual thumbnails. By the way, you'll be learning a lot more about objects in Chapter 6 of this tutorial. The third button is for the Document Manager, which helps you keep track of all of your open documents by displaying them as thumbnails. When you have a set of open documents, this panel makes it easy to switch between them. You can click a document thumbnail to bring it to the top of the workspace. Or you can shuffle through your open images by pressing Control plus Tab. Photo Impact lets you set up the workspace to fit the way that you work best. You can drag the toolbars or panels away from their original position to make them float anywhere on the screen or dock them to another section of the program window. You can also resize most floating toolbars. Also, if you want to make the buttons in Photo Impact easier to see, you can increase their size. Click on the Layout button, then select Options. Click to select the Large Buttons option. In this chapter, we've shown you how to open a document, introduced you to Photo Impact's interface, including the workspace and some of its features, and shown some of the various panels and toolbars and how to customize them to your liking. In the next chapter, we'll introduce you to two very special features in Photo Impact, the Quick Command Panel and the Easy Palette.